<laughs> What's going on, everybody? Solomon Ortiz coming at you live from Canada, Delaware. Happy Fired Up Friday. If you're hopping on the live, drop down in the comments. Let me know that you're here live with me. City, state, country. Uh, if you're catching me on the replay, write the word replay. If you're new to the broadcast, write the word news that so connect with you guys. Happy Fired Up Friday, guys. It is the weekend, and uh, I'm in the mood. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what's going on? Happy Friday. What's up, Beverly? What's up, Brenda? What's going on? The weekend is here, and uh, I'm excited, guys, in the holiday spirit. <laughs> Got my combat happy coffee here. I'm in a good mood, guys. What's up, David? Again, if you're hopping on the live, drop down in the comments. Let me know that you're here live with me. Some old school jams. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome. Oh, yeah. So we're going to be talking about what to do after the holidays. Um, and if you wanted to start keto or restart keto, how are you going to go about it? What you are going to do? I got some tips for you, some suggestions, and uh, I want to share them with you, all right? So again, if you're hopping on. Let me know that you're here live with me. It's Friday, right, Brenda? <laughs> Hopefully for the most of you guys, it's uh, it's Friday. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna wave at you all here real quick. Happy Friday, Victoria. What's going on? Good morning, brother. Good morning, Charmin. Web. Um, so, for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Solomon Ortiz, also known as Hashtag Combat Keto, I'm a father and veteran, entrepreneur, health and wellness coach, keto bro, social media bro, the people's champ, uh, coffee lover, pity parent. <laughs> and uh, I like to get on here and motivate, educate, and inspire those that are getting on here on the Facebook, like you all, and uh, help everybody out as much as I can. What's up? Amanda Rodriguez in the house. Ashley Bowen, what's going on? What's up, what's up, what's up? Again, if you're hopping on the live, drop down in the comments. Let me know that you're here live with me. Say hello to your boy, all right? I had some uh, Last Christmas by Wham. <laughs> I brought it old school. <laughs> all right, so what to do once the holidays are over, all right? And I know I've already done, I think, uh, two videos on why you shouldn't wait. But guess what? I I think that some of y'all are already kind of like waiting for after the holidays. Um, if you're waiting for after the holidays to uh, to get uh, back on keto or back in shape or back in you know a healthier mode or whatever have you, uh, drop a one down. Let me know that you're here. Let me know that that's you. Uh, you're waiting for those of you that are starting right now. Drop a two down. Let me know. But in any case. Most of you might be asking, well, what do I do after the holidays or what should I do? OK, and so I'm going to give you some tips on, you know, what you should do to like get back, you know, into keto gear uh, and to get into a, a mental state and to get uh, once it's January 2019, you know, you're ready to go. You know, motors are running full throttle to the floor and let's go. All right. What's up, Alicia? Nicole in the house. What's up? What's up? Um, Belad. Sorry, I didn't see your last name. Uh, got done finishing Christmas shopping. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So we are going to talk about this. So I know for myself, for myself in the past, I've always waited till January 1st. Okay. Or maybe January 2nd because I was hung over back when I used to drink. I don't drink anymore. But back when I did drink, I would wait till, you know, New Year's, you know, whatever week that was, maybe that Friday or something. Um, and, uh, now that I look back at it, I always wonder, I'm wondering why did I wait so long, you know, to get back in health or get back in shape. So I definitely made sure that this year I made it apparent that, you know, not just for myself, but for those that I am, uh, you know, I try to uh, coach and, and educate and inspire to let you know that, hey, look, why are you waiting? You know, let's get on board. Let's do this right now. Uh, also, I, I like to get on here and just uh, give you some tips. So a few tips, by the way. For those of you that don't know, I do have a free keto group. It's called The Combat Keto Group. If it's something that you're really interested in and you've never done keto or you're on keto and you want a 
uh, a, a new perspective on keto, uh, something that, you know, is not boring because I know there's some groups out there that are boring and just, you know, bland, then look up uh, the Combat Keto. Uh, kind of been quiet this month because it's been busy because the end of the year with the business and everything. However, uh, I am got some new things for you guys. I'm really excited to bring them to you. So I'm going to I'm going to also talk about that, too, here in a minute. What's up, Marissa in the house? Tessa, what's going on? April, thank you for hopping on. So, again, give me some hearts, give me some likes, and share this video out, guys. I appreciate it. All right, so within that group, before I even get into the tips, within that group, uh, I have... I got new content coming up, okay? So I, I'm creating new content. That's why I've kind of been kind of like non, you know, existent for a while uh, in there, just posting, you know, just my videos and stuff. But what I'm going to do now or in the new year is new content, uh, some uh, more personal tips and tricks that I got, you know, recipes. Uh, I know I've kind of like slacked off on the recipes, but, you know, with the holidays, you get busy. Trust me, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um... Meal plans, yes, meal plans, uh, generic meal plans. It's not going to be specific to each person, but it is going to be an idea of how to get started. So it's going to be some generic meal plans on how to start your day or how to start your week with the keto diet, okay? Um, also, coaching about macros. So I'm going to teach you how to do macros, how to do your own macros, how to calculate your macros, what an actual macro is. Uh, versus, you know, you know, uh, oh, carbohydrate, you know, versus a, a net carb, you know, uh, just coaching you the, the basics. It's a generic way of training people in there, but I think that it's going to help benefit a lot of people uh, because I don't think a lot of people really understand that, hey, macros is really important. Yes, lazy keto works to a point, but once you've tapped out, once you've plateaued on ke uh, lazy keto, that's when you really need to dial down on the macros. And I, I really, I, and personally, this is my personal opinion, okay, my personal opinion, macro counting is very, very crucial, in my opinion, okay? If you don't, that's fine, whatever, you know, no harm, no foul. Um, what kind of apps that I use for my keto journey um, and, and for my friends and everybody else, so what kind of apps that do I use? Um, the different styles of keto, because there are more than one style of keto, you know, it's not just strict keto. You got your cyclical keto, you got your targeted keto, you got your strict keto. Uh, you even got a carnivore diet, which is a brand new, uh, um, it's, a, it's a new diet that they come out, you know, there's been a lot of research on that lately. So I've been kind of like learning a little bit about that, but more to come on that too as well. Um, what kind of supplements that I use, what kind of health products do I use? So I'm going to be sharing a lot more of that in the group. Uh, so definitely excited to, uh, to bring that to everybody that's in the group. If you're not in the group, please, by all means, search it up. It's the Combat Keto Group. Uh, awesome, awesome group. Uh, the people that are in there are awesome and amazing. I, I love you guys. Um, uh, it grew quickly. I mean, from zero to a thousand plus people it just within, within a couple of months. It's crazy. Yes, you need meal plan ideas. Awesome, Patricia. Awesome. I got you. I got you. All right. Also, also, <laughs> within the new year, within the new year, you know, uh, it will be determined, time will be determined, but I want to let everybody know, in the, within the new year, apparel will be coming out. Yes, apparel will be coming out within the group, uh, definitely going to be sharing that with people in there. Uh, it's not free, but it is going to be awesome, it's going to be epic, I'm super excited about that. You'll know when you see your boy wearing it, all right? So <laughs> when I start wearing it, you'll, you'll know, all right? So more to come on that, guys. I'm super excited. Like I said, 2019, there's some huge, huge goals that I have to accomplish, but it wouldn't be any fun if they were small goals, you know? So, all right, so let's get into the tips. All right, so first things first, when you decide that you're going to go into this whole Keto journey, 2019, right after the holidays, eating all that junk food and that good, yummy uh, turkey stuffing, whatever, because I'm sure they're going to have that for a Christmas dinner and whatnot. New Year's. First things first, you need to have a spot on mindset. Okay? Yes, mindset. Not macros. Not how do you do keto. Not gym membership. Not any of that. All right? It, first things first, and this is coming from me, okay? This is how I coach. 
This is coming from your boy, Solomon Ortiz, Combat Keto. All right, first things first, you need to have a strong mindset. If the mind is weak, the body's weak, okay? It doesn't matter how strong you are, it doesn't matter how long in distance you can run or how shredded you are. If you have a weak mind, you're gonna fail every single time. I promise you that, I promise you that, all right? So, tip number one, have a strong mindset. How are you gonna do that? Easy, easy. All you gotta do is surround yourself with positive people, listen to podcasts. If you like hopping on here and watching me, click the follow button, follow my journey, join the group. Just surround yourself with positivity. Stay away from the negative stuff, stay with the positive stuff. That's it, think positively, all right? Don't always talk down yourself. Don't always say, oh, you know, well, there goes my, you know, just because you had a bad meal doesn't mean that that sets the tone for the entire 2019, okay? You had one bad, bad meal, okay, get over it, brush it off, and let's go, okay? Move forward. The mission doesn't stop, okay? The mission does not stop because you had a bad meal, all right? So remember, mindset, strong mindset. All right, number two, be honest with yourself. <laughs> you cannot, you can lie to everybody else in social media, but you cannot lie to yourself because deep down inside, you know. And what I mean by that is you can put all the filters up on the world. You can take just a picture of your face and crop out your body. You can hide behind, you know, a certain clothing, attire, whatever, but you know the truth. So stop Stop lying, be honest with yourself, take a real hard, hard look at yourself and say, all right, enough is enough. I need to get on board and get on track, okay? So just be honest with yourself, guys. A um, little tough love there, I know, but at the end of the day, you really need to like think about it in that, in, in, in that way because no one else is really gonna be telling you that. You gotta tell yourself that. You gotta be telling yourself, okay, look, look, Solomon, if you can't tie your shoe, you got a problem, all right? And I, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from personal experience, all right? I'm not making fun of anybody. What I'm saying is, and from personal experience, I know what it's like. If you can't tie your shoe with, without holding your breath, you got a problem. If you can't walk up a flight of stairs gasping for air, you got a problem, okay? If you can't get out of the couch without heaving, three or four times, you got a problem, okay? So let's get to it, all right? Number three, remember, you have the entire 2019 to accomplish your goals. And this doesn't have to pertain to keto. This can be just any, anybody that wants to be healthy. But I'm, I'm coaching keto, I'm teaching keto, I, 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 I do keto, so that's what I'm gonna be talking about, all right? So you have the whole entire year to to do this, to learn how to do keto, to learn from your mistakes, because trust me, you're gonna make mistakes from learning from the, the cheat meals that you might, you know, slip here and here, because you might, you might have a bad meal. It happens, you're human, who cares? We're all human, it happens, all right? But what I'm trying to get at is don't beat yourself up about it, right? You have the whole entire year, as long as you start and you keep going, that's what matters. If you stop, then, then that's a big no-no in my book, all right? So don't stop, you have the whole entire year, all right? Uh, and again, if you're hopping on the live, drop down in the comments, let me know that you're here live with me. What's up, Sylvia, compost in the house. Jennifer, what's up? Amber, what's up, what's up, what's up, Amber? So, four, baby steps, baby steps. Guys, don't rush this, okay? Don't rush keto, don't rush trying to jump into keto because you want to lose the weight. Yes, that's that's good that you, you have that enthusiasm and that motivation. However, if you take on too much, you're going to get overwhelmed and you, you're going to wind up quitting on yourself, all right? So baby steps, okay? Learn the process, all right? You know, it's it's think of it as a new job. You're on the job and you're learning as you go. You know, you're getting OJT, on-the-job training. Same thing with this. 
just take it, you know, baby step, day by day, learn a little bit, learn about your macros, learn about what keto, learn about how many fats you should be taking, learn about, don't be trying to make all of a sudden these crazy, you know, these delicious fat bombs because you want to have that. No, that's, that, that's wrong. Just get, stick to the basics, you know, stick to the basics, you know. If you can make bacon, eggs, and a little bit of cheese and whatnot with some veggies, spinach or whatever, boom, there you go. You just conquered your first meal right there, boom. Just baby steps, guys. Don't, don't take on too much. All right. Find a coach. Find a coach. It is not, it is not um, bad or you're not, it doesn't mean that you're weak or that you're, that you're dumb or stupid or anything because you need, you need help, okay? I, I see this all the time. So many people think that they can take everything on by themselves. No. You need a mentor, you need a coach. A mentor or a coach, doesn't matter. And it doesn't have to necessarily be someone that you're paying, but having a mentor and a coach is very crucial in any type of growth. We're talking about in business, we're talking about in, in, in relationships, we're talking about, even in my whole military career, I had mentors. I have mentors now that they don't even know that they're my mentors, but I, I read their content, I, I, I research their stuff. So these guys are my mentors, they don't even know it. Same thing here. Find a coach, find a mentor, learn from them, all right? If you don't find any, if you can't find anybody, get into the group. Get into the group, interact with people. If you if you like following me, great. If you don't, <laughs> no problem. That's great too. All right. 5. Comparitis. This is a big one. Compare Comparitis. Hey. The dog is going crazy. Comparitis number 5. So, don't get stuck with comparitis, all right? This happens when you start seeing everybody's success. You see someone's success and you start second guessing yourself and you're like, man, am I, am I doing this right? Why, why, why aren't I losing the belly fat? Why don't I see my ads like so-and-so? No, that's a wrong, wrong, wrong mentality. Do not have comparitis, okay? Because that is gonna hold you up too. So when you see somebody doing good, when you see somebody being successful in their weight loss journey, uh, fat loss journey, keto journey, I want you to applaud them. Applaud them, say congratulations, super proud of you, super excited for you, and use that for motivation, for, for inspiration, and use that to keep going, all right? Don't, don't hate on somebody's success. Woo, man, that's a huge one, guys. That's a huge one. So many people will hate on you. If, when you start seeing the results, so many people are going to hate on your success. It's not even funny. And I'm not even kidding. They're going to start offering you like fried chicken, desserts, treats, and whatnot. It'll happen. It'll happen. And it's like the, it's the whole crabs in the barrel type analogy. You got all these crabs in this barrel. And one decides he wants to, you know what? I'm getting out. I'm out of here, guys. And he reaches up and he grabs the top of the barrel, starts pulling himself out. The rest of them just drag, drag him back in. Boom. And he goes right back in there. Don't be that little crab. Get out of that bucket. So don't hate on people's success. Applaud them. Be happy for them. Because trust me, your time is coming. Your time will be here. You just have to be patient, all right? So don't get stuck with comparitis. It makes you a nasty person. Trust me. Trust me. Oof. Don't like it. All right. Six. Don't stress the small shit, all right? Don't stress it, all right? Because... If you stress, guess what happens? You increase your cortisol levels and you wind up gaining weight anyways because you're stressing over all this stuff. So don't stress the small shit. If you slip up or you have, or you think you might've had too many carbs, guess what? Tomorrow's another day. Let's just conquer the next day, okay? Call it as it is. It's, if, if it's an L, it's an L. You know, if you, if you lost that day, that's cool. Don't dwell on it. Don't go to sleep dwelling on it. Just continue the journey, all right? So don't stress. All right, seven. This is a huge one. I, I believe, again, I already spoke about it, but you need to learn your body, okay? Listen to your body. Listen to what your body needs, what your body wants. If you're not hungry when you wake up, don't eat, okay? It, I think it's ingrained in our, in, our, in our mindset that you need to eat a breakfast meal every single morning, right? The most important meal of the day is what? Breakfast, right? BS. It is not. It, most important meal is the meal that you need. 
okay? To survive throughout the day, okay? You know, that's not how we were designed. That's not how we, 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 we're, we were made up. We eat when we're hungry, okay? So don't eat if you're not hungry. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why would you eat? Why, that's like stuffing yourself. That would, that would, that's like after Thanksgiving dinner, you were stuffed and you couldn't put anything in there. But, you know, guess what? Oh, wait a minute. It's breakfast. I got to eat again, you know? And, and you stuff your face again. That doesn't make any sense, does it? No. I didn't think so. All right. What's up? What's going on? What's up, Victoria? Keep pushing forward. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Jessica, what's going on? Jessica Oren, what's up? Kat, what's going on? What's going on? What's up, everybody? All right. So, again, if you're hopping on the live, drop down in the comments. Let me know that you're here live with me. Also, give me some hearts. Give me some likes if you're enjoying this. Share the video out, guys. Trust me. Please. Somebody might need this video. Share the video, okay? All right. And so, some of they going. Never, ever fail. Someone always tries to call me. All right. So the last one is get excited, guys. Get excited. I'm telling you, excitement will get you there. If you don't have the excitement, enthusiasm, and the energy, you're, you're, you're just kind of like going through the motions, you know? Get, get excited. Guess what? You know what? I got this new journey. I get to, I get to eat cheese. I get to eat I get to eat bacon, I get to have some fatty steak, you know, uh, chicken uh, legs, uh, buffalo wings. Oh man, get excited guys. I get to have my happy combat coffee with uh, my healthy fats in there every morning. Guys, if you don't get excited about this journey, then you're really not, you're, you're really not, you know, uh, dedicated to it. You really don't care whether you lose weight or not. So get excited. Have fun with this. You know, this is for the betterment of yourself. So you really should be getting excited that, hey, I'm going to be getting, you know, nice and sexy for 2019 summer. Right. Right. So get happy. Get excited. It's it, OK. Listen, listen here. Here. <laughs> this is a huge one. It is not wrong for you to want want to look good. It is not. Solomon is telling you right now. It is not a bad thing or a wrong thing for you to want to look good. I don't know where people got this whole idea where, oh, but mm, well, she thinks he's all that. Oh, well, he thinks he's, oh, he thinks he's so hot because he's got pecs and arms. Come on, what? Heck yeah, they worked hard for it. They were dedicated to it. So there's nothing wrong. I don't see a rule book where, any, where it says that. So, yeah, it is, that is not wrong, guys, for you to want to look good, feel good, you know, be energetic, have fun, have a smile all the time, be happy that you're alive. There's nothing wrong with it. Why would you want to be, you know, unhealthy and, 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 and overweight and, and, and tired and can't tie your shoe? And I didn't feel that. I didn't feel that great when I was 300 pounds. I don't know about you, but when your boy was 300 pounds, I felt like shit. Just being honest, I did. Straight up. And I was miserable. So there's nothing wrong with it, all right? So whoever says that, just don't even pay him any mind, all right? All right. And you know what, guys? I kind of got into a little, tan a, a little, little tantrum there. Not tantrum, but a little just a, a, a rant. I got into a little rant there. That's it, guys. That's just it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just, just go by those tips. Start out. Okay, so what? Holidays are, are coming. You, you enjoy the holidays. Get it over with. But I'm telling you guys, come 2019, you need to get on track. If you're not ready to go, then hey, don't say I didn't tell you so, all right? Yes, I want to feel good again. Yes. Yes, Patricia. Yes. Yeah, super excited for you. Yes. Darn right. <laughs> Gotta look good for summer. That's right, Jessica. I know it, girl. Shoot. Same here, Victoria. Awesome. Yes, absolutely. I'm telling y'all, there's nothing wrong with it. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. You know I'm right. Come on. Solomon is always right. Stress kills. Absolutely, Victoria. Absolutely. I smell all day now that I'm uh, in better shape. Keto rocks and gives you so much energy. Yes, it does. You know what else gives you energy? The coffee. <laughs> Compact coffee or happy coffee. I'm just messing with you guys. But yeah, 
Because I guarantee you, there are going to be people out to the beach wearing t-shirts over them. And, and you don't want to be that guy. Or girl. Because mainly I'm talking to the fellas because I'm a dude. But the ladies out there, same, it's the same concept, you know. But guys do it all the time. And there's a reason. So, And I was one of those. I was one of those guys. I used to wear the shirts over me. And it was horrible. And I felt bad. You know, I felt insecure. I felt, here's a little thing before I get off of here. A little story about myself. I felt very, very insecure as a young man when I started getting man boobs. True story. So if I were to go to, uh, to the beach or something, I, I put a t-shirt on. I didn't like showing my body. I was ashamed of my body. And, and, and I speak on these because, uh, and, I, and the way that I speak to you guys, it's just, just to be honest and real because I, I suffer from all that, you know? And I, I, was, I was that kid, you know? And, and, I, and I don't want people to be that way. You shouldn't have to be that way. You shouldn't have to hide, you know? And, and then I struggled with my weight, up and down, yo-yo dieting everywhere, you know? Went to the military. Even in the military, I, 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 I lost weight, gained weight, lost weight, gained weight, you know? It was, a, it was a constant battle, you know? But it doesn't have to be hard, okay? It doesn't have to be hard. It can be, it can be easy, but we just got to change ourselves, all right? We got to change ourselves. And once we change ourselves, our mindset, the way that we eat, the way that we look at food, Food is not a pleasure to eat. It is survival to eat. Once we get that into our heads, things start changing. When we look at food as surviving and not feeding our emotions and, and just because we, we see it as a, as a reward or as an emotional uh, gratification, things start changing, all right? You got to remember that, all right? You're welcome. You're welcome, Victoria. All right, guys. So... Thank you so much for hopping on here. If you uh, found value in it, please share this video out, guys. I appreciate you. Uh, and as always, oh, and please be safe this weekend. You know, uh, the holidays are here. Uh, if you're going somewhere and you're visiting people, drive safe. Have a fun and safe weekend. And as always, I'm Solomon Ortiz, hashtag Combat Keto. And I'll see y'all at the top. Y'all take care. Have a great weekend. Peace.